Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Finally, set number 75280. May I present to you the 501st Battle Pack. Yay, confetti! Uh, uh. Okay, um, yes, this is the 501st uh, Battle Pack, ladies and gentlemen, and I am happy to present it to you. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all this mess out of the way. I am happy to present it to you. And uh, before we dive into it, though, I just want to show you one quick thing. I made a mistake during the AAT review, which has been growing insanely fast. It has, like, currently, as I'm recording this, I think 35 views the last time I checked in the first, like, 24 hours. So it's doing really well, and I want to thank you guys. But in the AAT video, I forgot to show that the battle droids have weapons. You might be able to tell here that it's kind of a silvery metallic color, so that's nice. Um, both battle droids have those. A little oopsie on my part, but um, let's dive into the minifigures of the Final First Battle Pack, which I'm sure many of you, including me, have waited for a long time. Funny thing about this battle pack, though, is that. It doesn't actually say 501st Battle Pack on the box. I have it sitting right next to me here. It says 501st Legion Clone Troopers. So, this... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a battle pack or not, but I do know the cool thing about battle packs is that... The thing about battle packs is that you're supposed to build your army with them, and this is a great way to do it. We have an... Final First Battle Pack comes with an ATRT, four clone troopers, one bark speeder, and two battle droids. So let's start off with the minifigures. I'm not going to show you the guys, or the guy in the bark and the ATRT because they're the same. But first, here is the regular 501st clone that we have. He's got one of those standard blasters and some really nice printing on the torso, the legs, and the helmet, and then around the back as well. Uh, you can see his little grenade pouch, little grenade holster, thermal detonator, and then we got the same skin tone from the AAT 332nd clone, as well as the same facial expression. I like this one because it looks more like Django Fett, which makes sense. So, with that, I'll move on to one of the coolest things that I thought, it, or one of the things that I found really cool in this set, is the 501st Jet Trooper. And I think, first of all, before I get into it, I just want to say LEGO did a great job on the helmet, because just like in the game Star Wars Battlefront 2, the 501st, or not 501st, but the Jet Trooper default look is like a 501st look. And his helmet has those little red markings on it, so I think LEGO did a really good job on that. So let's take a look at the 501st Jet Trooper. He actually has different printing on... He's got blue arms, unlike the rest of the clones. And he's got different torso prints as well. He's got the same leg print, however. And around the back, he's got a nice blue jet pack. Goes with his blue arms. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking that jetpack. I'm glad that LEGO stuck a jet trooper in here. Next up, we got the Clankas. Just one simple battle droid. Not really much to show. Just a battle droid. So with the figs out of the way, let me show you the main course. This insanely large... Let me just... Even when I put it sideways, it's hard to get it all in the frame. Insanely large ATRT. It's super tall. Now, what I'm about to show you in comparison isn't a legit ATRT. It is legit Lego, but it isn't something that. It's not an official ATRT. So, this is like a fake ATRT. So, it's just about the same size. With the camera looking down on it, it's kind of hard to see, but it's about the same size. It's pretty huge, though. 
And then also for scale, I have an ATDP micro fighter. And then last but not least for scale, we have the Kenner's Star Wars Stormtrooper figure. I'm sure this guy could fit in this thing. Actually, I tried it out before uh, recording. He can sit on it. Uh, how? So let me just show you. It seems to scale. Now his legs, his legs do stick out, but it, it's to scale. <laughs> it it seems like that's, I don't know. It's it's a bit large, but when you look at other Lego ATRTs, it just seems fine. Something I really like though is the hydraulics that uh, that are made here. It's just a simple rod stuck, uh, held together with some clamps. Let me stick the clone back in here. Oopsies, I knocked off the antenna. Oh, so something I am going to mention here. Actually, let me mention a little later because I want to focus on what I'm talking about right now. So we got some nice 501st stickers on the front there. I think these panels look really nice on the front, as well as another little sticker on a 2x3 tile on the front there. That control console is a printed uh, cheese slope. I personally really like when they print those. Actually, wait a second, it's not a print. I believe it is a sticker. Hang on, let me grab the sticker sheet. I don't remember it now. Okay, that's not a sticker. I thought, I, I forgot if it was a sticker or not, but this, there's just a ton of stickers on this thing, and they're almost all of them are on the ATRT. The clone trooper fits in there pretty nicely. It's got some spot, and I got he's it's it's a good amount of space. And then around the back, we have some antennas or some comms, whatever you want to call them. And then a spot for the clone's rifle, and then a little holster for binoculars. Let me show you the rifle really quickly. It's this plus what I believe is a candle piece stuck in there and we get this nice sniper or sniper rifle if, if, if that's what you want to call it. So that just clips onto the back there as well as some binoculars. And then I really like those grill pieces that they have on there that blue grill piece up on the top as well as those gray ones on both sides, actually. Let's uh, move down to the legs a little bit. We got a lot of dish pieces on the joints, which is what they do for all the chicken walkers, like the ATDP and the uh, ATST, the regular scale ones. So that's nice. Again, I like the use of these grill pieces, as well as these slope grill pieces. Oh, and it's actually, the, the current position it's in now is like the best walking position possible for this thing. It doesn't really have a good walking position. If you want to like, make a stop motion animation with this thing, you might have a little bit of trouble. Maybe just don't show the legs at all because that, it doesn't really have a good walk position. Like the best one was the one that I had it in, about right here. But um, that's kind of lame. Oh, yes, I forgot to show you the stud shooter on the front here. This thing is actually on a ball hitch, not like a ratchet. For example, the uh, ATDP microfighter, as you can see there. Um, so it's got a lot of free movement before it snaps off. Yeah, you, you gotta be careful with stud shooters, uh, especially like ones and walkers. AT, the ATDP, I sh just show you, that falls off every now and then. If you're really rough with the one on the uh, 501st ATRT, it will fall off. Um, back to the legs, though. We have some nice stickers right here. Once again. Lots of stickers on this thing. And then we move down to the feet. Now, I like the feet, personally. They feel kind of big, but they kind of have to be a little bit big. We got that kind of chicken feet, or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm not sure what, what you'd want to call it, but on the front, it's kind of a shiny metallic color. 
And I think this looks nice overall. However, one complaint I'd have to have, or I'd have to mention, is that... Let me grab this thing. And let me just pretend it's walking like this. If you're too rough, yeah, the whole thing is going to fall apart. Now, this is good if you're like me, and when you play with stuff, you like to just blow it up. But, I mean, I was barely just doing this with that thing. And the feet just got annihilated. So that's one downside about this. That's really the only complaint, however, that I have to uh, that I will mention about this thing. Other than that, though, I think the ATRT is captured perfectly. It's a little bit big, but when you look at other Lego ATRTs, it's just the right scale. So I think this is nice personally. But, uh, even though these ATRTs are really fast, we need something fast, like, fast fast, like, pod racing fast. Oh, what do you know? It's a bark speeder. This thing is pretty cool, and I'm glad that we get a bark speeder. It's built pretty neat. It's, it's got a lot of neat little pieces in it. So, I, one thing I mentioned in the AAT video is that they have a lot of neat techniques with, with some neat pieces with, to go along with that. Well, the same thing goes with the 501st Battle Pack. A lot of neat pieces, a lot of neat techniques. Again, there's a bunch of stickers on this thing. There's one right here. There's, uh, there's one right here, one right here, one right here. There's a ton of stickers in the set. Guys, here's a look at the sticker sheet. And when you see the sticker sheet, you're going to wonder, is this a battle pack or a sticker pack? That's a lot of stickers for a battle pack. Ten total stickers. Whew! That's a lot. So, this bark is really nice. we got some stud shooters on the side here. And then, uh, some more, I guess what they're supposed to be, cannons in the back. One thing I don't really like about this is that it feels, well, no, I wouldn't really say I don't like it, but it's kind of long, like kind of super long. I don't know, it's it's taking up the entire, well, yeah, from one side to the other, it's taking up the entire screen. I mean, I personally don't mind it because barks are supposed to be big. But I'm just kind of pointing it out as a, wow, that's really big for a battle pack. And again, I'm not exactly even sure this is a battle pack. I'm pretty sure it's a battle pack. But it's actually just called the 501st Legion Clone Troopers. One thing I don't really like is that there's no place to store this guy's weapon. He does get a blaster. And on the ATRT, at least you got a clip on the side. And you think, well, you just put it in a free spot in the ATRT. Except that there's none. Um, unless you just get rid of the binoculars. So what I just do is... Uh, let me grab this blaster. Whoops. Uh, well, I don't have one on me right now. But what I do is I just kind of weave it in the handlebars there. I think overall, though, this thing is pretty nice. Other than, like I said, there's no real sp spot to store the blasters because it, it is kind of handy like because there wasn't a spot to put it in i just i don't have it on me right now so now i can't find it but overall i would say this is a really good set and if you're into clone if you want to build your clone army like we do and you just like cool stuff like this then i would te definitely recommend you get this set and if you think it's a cool set then you should probably get it as soon as you can if you haven't already gotten it, because guess what's selling out crazy fast? Yep, 501st Battle Pack and the AAT. So I think this is a great set, honestly. It's it's really fun. What the? Oh! Holy cow! Oh 
my goodness, the AAT just comes in and crushes stuff. Or just blasts stuff. So, uh, I would say, if you want to have a fun little battle, or you want to build your army, or something like that, I just realized that when I shot the spring-loaded shooters, it hit a clanker, and uh, he went flying all the way onto my laptop. I would say this, both of these sets are great for building your army. You get all kinds of stuff from the two of them. And I would say that the AAT and the 501st Battle Pack would go really well together because you can have clones fighting clankers, clankers fighting clones. It just, it works well. So if you want to have like a fun little small bite-sized battle like we actually just did the other night with the 501st Battle Pack, I would def highly recommend buying both of these two sets. And I would recommend buying an extra one because who knows, maybe in a couple of years you can sell them for a million bucks on eBay. I know that, that Ahsoka will be selling for a million bucks on eBay. But uh, that's that's what I have to say about the 501st Battle Pack. But um, that's not all. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. And also, I kind of have a challenge for us. The current most popular video on the channel, well, I'm saying this ranking it by views, is the intro video repost at 41 views. And that thing took like four, three months, maybe four months to, uh, well, I posted it at like the very beginning of my channel in May, so probably about four months. Uh, it took like four months to get to that. However, the AAT video took only 24 hours to get to like less than 10 away from that. So I want to see if we can get the 501st Battle Pack and the AAT possibly even higher. So with that, those are my thoughts. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm, I'm going to start leaving the link in the description to some more channels on the same topic that you might like, as well as some more videos uh, from my channel in case you are bored at home and want to watch some mediocre stuff. This is Jimmy Hendrix signing off after another LEGO review. We'll see you next time. Roger, roger.